Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, hello. My name is Val, AKA Auntie Cuckoo, and welcome to my channel. Here I love to do shop with me videos, hauls, DIYs, and especially home tours and seasonal decor. It's just my jam. So today I'm actually bringing you guys my most recent Dollar Tree haul. I have a few seasonal items, I have a few back to school items, household food, and one short review of an item from my last haul. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start out with the things that I was most excited about. So I've been popping into my Dollar Trees and we usually get things way ahead of everyone we are getting hit really heavy with back to school items, but none of these fabulous fall pumpkins you guys are hauling. But I did find these and I was very happy. So little scarecrow guy, is this the boy? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a boy and I'm gonna say this is a girl. Although these could be overalls that are shorts and they could be two little boys. And they're just those little bobblehead figurines the Dollar Tree always puts out. So this is a sticker, it's not broken or anything. And he's just a super cute little guy with a little red handkerchief around his neck and blue jeans on. And I'll show you guys, he's little, but that'll just be a fun little piece of fall decor. I'm like trying to make sure I put him somewhere I'm not gonna break him or knock him over showing you guys stuff. This one I'm gonna say is a girl. Yeah, these are little piggy tails. See right there? So just really cute little figurines. She's raking some fall leaves. And I love scarecrows and pumpkins for fall decor. I don't do much with Halloween. So when I saw those, I was super excited. Now, this is a fall item. It's got the fall tag, but it's called Mini Mums. And I'm probably just gonna use this year round. I just thought they were really cute. I recently hauled this little set of galvanized tin buckets in like a little wire basket from Michaels on their clearance and I wanted to put something neutral in there so I got these for that and these are seasonal so they're mini mums. And I missed the boat. I had seen these really cool sunflowers with a really neat center that I hadn't seen at um, Dollar Tree before. It looked more like an expensive item that you would find at a craft store. I should have got them and I didn't. So I did end up going back looking for them and I picked up the regular sunflowers, which are fine. They're great. I did end up getting two bundles of these. I already have a bundle being used elsewhere. I did get two of these. Now these are called Black Eyed Susans. Beautiful brown color. They're kind of like, um, I guess it is a mum, but when I think of mums, I don't think of the shape. I think of them as more like a carnation for some reason. But these um, definitely will do well for fall. And if you have rich warm colors brown leather that sort of thing now's the time to get out there and get your floral because it'll match your home these i'm super excited about you guys i was at michael's in my last shop with me with you guys and they had these and they were so much more i think they were like 8.99 it was a bigger bundle though so i did get three of these bunches and these are the mini pomegranates and they're just really cute. So I'm definitely gonna use these in my fall decor and I might even keep them around in December. So that's what three bundles looks like. I think it looks pretty full. So that was a good deal. Now these are plant items too and I know many of us have obsessed over the succulents at the Dollar Tree and hauled them and I have been guilty of that myself. Now these are similar but different. So they come in these little pots and obviously it comes with a styrofoam. 
these have a totally different feel than the other ones I've hauled in the past. And these are larger. I don't know if you can tell by the size of my hand. These are bigger and they feel more expensive. They feel like the ones you would find at Hobby Lobby that are more pliable. So I did find two. I mean, they had a ton, but I picked up two. I need to limit myself. So picked those up and they're out there. At least I'm finding them. Now I have just four little back to school items. Um, I've picked up a few things from the 99 cent store as well. So, I mean, if you guys are interested in a collective back to school, what I buy my kids supply wise, I'm happy to do a video on that. But these are the things I found at the Dollar Tree. So these zip pouches are great because these actually have two pouches. Now this one is mesh, but there's a fabric behind it. So it's, it's more sturdy than I think it appears. And they've got the three rings to put those in your binder. And then of course, the top zipper. I like to just have these on hand because usually halfway through the year, the kids, you know, lose them, they fall apart, they need a new one and I got a blue one. So we have those. Those I intended for my boys. And then I saw this and I thought it was super cute and I might even get a little crafty with it. So it's just your standard composition book. Okay, so just a little bit bigger than a hand. It says it is 9.75 9 by 7.5. So it's your standard, regular lined composition book. My kids usually have to have a few of these for their classes. Now this has a really beautiful chandelier on the front and it's this really beautiful pale lavender which is my daughter's new favorite color. So I'm thinking it might be really fun. She has some stickers that are rhinestones from the Dollar Tree to let her bling out her chandelier. And I mean, how cute would that be going back to school with a blinged out chandelier composition book? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like bling on everything. I did find this folder and it has some of that lavender tone in it too. Lots of pinks and purples and I just liked this print and I thought she would like it. It is the heavier plastic. It is not paper and it's just a normal folder. Now I am going to be bringing you guys a video in the next few days of all the things I didn't buy that are back to school items so you can see what the Dollar Tree is carrying. So now I have some home essential items. All right, so let's start out with the things I picked up on sort of the toiletry medication aisle. Now these are just a pack of gloves. You get 10 of them in here and it says that they are latex free and textured. So I just like to have these on hand every now and then we'll need gloves for something around the house and I just like to have them on hand, nothing specific. These are my favorite. I love these. I picked these up for our vacation to have in our RV. I love the smell. They have a wonderful smell and they're much heavier than the ones that come from the Dollar Tree. Also by the Assured brand that are in that tube. I much prefer these. These are a little bit heavier weight and they smell really, really nice. Okay, let's stay on that aisle. You guys know Everyone's been hauling these Kiss Gel Strong, so they're not gel, but they're gel strong nail polishes. Well, it took them a while, but they finally made it to California. Maybe they're here on summer break. So I did end up getting two of the clear, and I'm guessing this is kind of like a top coat. Yep, so that's right there on the back, top coat. I do have on my Dollar Tree nails. I did put a little bit of a glitter top coat on them because they were just really matte and I didn't like it. <laughs> so then for myself, I got two colors. So this one's just like a bright, what do they call it? Fatal Lure, ooh. It actually matches my lipstick pretty good. And I got this really dark color called Vampire. It is a rose red burgundy color and I do like to do my toes quite dark. So you can see there, hint of brown to it for sure. 
And then I picked this one up for one of my little friends. And this one's called Sweet Angel. Oh, that's cute. I didn't even realize that. It's like between a pink and a peach. So they had a few other colors. I remember a super bright pink, like neon, and then a few nudes and more muted colors. And so that's just what I picked up, but I was so happy they finally made it to my store. Now let's go on to some household products. A few are gonna be repeats, so I'll go through them quickly. Love this stuff, you guys. I hauled it, I tried it. The smell is so clean and fresh, and so this is gonna make it into our household chores list, and we're gonna just have the kids once a week, one of them freshen up our very large sectional that they all are have been <laughs> spending much of their summer break on and it just freshens them up. I can wash my back cushions all along my sectional, but the seats we actually have to use our carpet cleaner on. So those are a little bit more difficult to clean and I tend to only clean those about twice a year. So this just freshens them up, especially for having company and the couch smells nice and fresh. I do love these. These are the dishwashing tablets by Ultra Shine. I swear by them. I bought five packs. Another thing I swear by, this stuff is really good. It's called LA's Totally Awesome. And I add this to my laundry. And then every now and then if I have a stain or something, I'll put a little extra on that, wet it, and just dab it. Now this is a new cleaning product to me. I've seen it at the Dollar Tree, but I've never tried it. And it's the Aerosol Glass and Surface Cleaner, streak free. And we were just out of our normal glass product, so I thought I'd give this a try. I do normally buy the larger squirt style from the Dollar Tree, and it's just their brand. And now I have a really great product to share with you guys. I've shared this, I've told you how much I love it. It's a very strong aerosol cleaner that smells a lot and throws off a lot of fumes like an oven cleaner. But I will tell you, I have a little toaster oven and it's gotten quite used looking. So you know how like the front um, window can cloud up a bit? The other night I was cleaning my kitchen and I put some of this on that and I just thought I'll give it a try. I let it set wiped it off and half of that stuff came off. So I did it twice more and it looks brand new. So I'm going to say if you have a toaster oven and it's not something you spent a very pretty penny on, you're willing to give it a try, this might work at cleaning your front window with that baked on toaster oven look. You know what I'm talking about? Now don't use this if you have any respiratory issues because it is quite strong and you might want to throw on the house fan or something when you use it. But I did pick up three bottles because I've now just totally been convinced by that product. And it probably does cause cancer. So you may want to avoid skin contact. It's just super, super strong and you get that feeling as soon as you use it. Okay, I've got four more products and then I'm just going to throw in a quick review of a Dollar Tree item. I was super happy to find this. So this is by Supreme Tradition and it's 10 ounces. It's Worcestershire sauce. Now I normally buy ours by Lee and Perrins at Costco and it can be quite pricey. I buy it in a two pack and both of my Costco's don't carry it. Only one of them does. So I thought I'd give this a try. If it tastes off, I'll let you guys know. But I do use Worcestershire in my ground turkey because we mainly use ground turkey and chicken. So to give it a little bit of flavor, I'll add some of this and I'll let you guys know how that goes. This is something that I did buy two of. It is also the Supreme Tradition, Supreme Tradition, 12 fluid ounce herb and garlic marinade. So we did use this and I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. It's good. So we have one that we use. It's a powder form where you add the oil and the vinegar and the water. And I normally get that at Walmart. And I do still prefer that over this, but they're very close. So I would say if you want to give it a try, do it. 
It is a Shake Well Refrigerate After Opening product. And we just did it on some chicken, threw it on the grill, and it was good. So it was a good little trial product. Um, I did get two of these. I picked some of these up for the baby shower that I helped with, and they were really, really good. So I got a couple of jars for the house. They're just the pitted olives. I love olives, so if you're not into olives, I get it. My husband is not, but these are just your pitted, normal olives, and they're so good. There was one item that is missing from this haul. We had come home from picking up a little practice to a very good-sized container of Progresso Italian-flavored breadcrumbs all over our front lawn. So we keep a lot of our dry goods and stockpile in our garage and the door had been left open. And I'm not sure if it was like a neighbor's dog or maybe just a lost dog. It definitely looked like a dog. Got in there, took the can, I had this in bags to share with you all, out to the front lawn, ripped it apart. But all that to say, if you want to keep an eye out in your Dollar Tree, they were Progresso and they were Italian breadcrumbs. It was like that canister size, I would say probably probably 14 or so ounces. And uh, the expiration date wasn't until 2018. So if you're looking for breadcrumbs, you may want to try the Dollar Tree. Now, this little guy, I'm sure you guys have seen, it's just a little glass candy style jar. You can set it like this. Or you can set it like this. I actually saw in someone's video that they used it for their hamster um, to put their sand in for grooming and it's glass so you don't have to worry about anything with your hamster um, with plastics or anything like that and our hamster is really good about that but she really likes to groom and so she throws sand everywhere and I thought being enclosed we would give this a try. Now, a quick little review for you guys at the end here of this video. Many of you guys have probably seen these at your Dollar Tree, and you may have picked them up for summer. When I was a kid, we had them. When I was a kid, they worked. So we did give these a try over the 4th of July holiday. We did use um, a very concentrated, I believe it was Minute Maid Pink Lemonade, and we just, they froze, works fine. You know the lids stay on and that sort of thing but we really had a hard time getting the popsicle to freeze on the stick it froze but it was in here and these little guys just came straight out so I guess you know my solution I told my daughter go in and put them in the freezer like this and then we'll see if it does any better and it didn't so I think the solution is these sticks do not have much texture. They have ridges like that and they're only on one side. So I think if you have these and you're really, really interested in making popsicles, you might want to rough these up and then it would give the frozen treat something to grip to. But, you know, I don't know what I want to call this part of my Dollar Tree segment like I would want to share products with you guys and tell you whether it's like a dud or a stud I don't know this one's a dud not a stud I guess that's what we'll call it dud or stud just kind of came to me let me know if you guys like that down below thanks so much for joining me guys I always appreciate you guys spending time with me here and for those of you that caught my little live video there at Michael's I'm so sorry I had to take it down as soon as it posted. I got a copyright warning. Now you guys know why I always set my videos to music because they're on ya. So anyways, thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna try and do maybe a live question and answer coming up pretty soon. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video.